transforming this door for clients who have a wonderful cabin up north, I wanted to make it magical. So that's exactly what I tried to accomplish. Here I am priming the door because I prime absolutely every piece that I do. They wanted an elk theme, of course, because you've got a cabin. Why wouldn't you want an elk theme? And how are we going to make that magical? Well, here we are. We're going to start with this decoupage paper. I absolutely loved it. And I put it down with Posh Chalk Infuser because it's the most durable and wonderful product to work with. It is absolutely the best for adhesion and for smoothing those edges out. Then what do we do? We have to start with Would You Bend. I went through so much different Would You Bend, cutting and heating it up and piecing together different pieces. Uh, to make the most incredible over-the-top antlers. And when you see what I came up with, I hope you feel the same way I did. It took a lot of work, but I think I definitely accomplished what they were wanting. As you can tell, there are a lot of pieces. I even used pieces that I had left over from other projects. I kept heating them up, cutting them into other pieces, fitting them together, changing it. I've changed it up so many times that I thought I'm never gonna get this right. And it definitely was, uh, let's just say a little bit of a challenge, but I got to just let my ima imagination run wild and I think it worked. I had to sand a lot of the edges because once I cut them, they were kind of sharp. So I would heat it up a little bit more, cut a little more off, and then I would sand it, bend it the way I wanted it. And then I would let it cool because I wanted it to stay in the same position in which I um, was going to place it. Again, I'll heat it up and cut and sand numerous times throughout this project, but to get them to lay right, and to get them to fit together and create an over-the-top piece, that's what I had to do. So as you'll see, here I am just sanding and sanding and cutting and cutting. I'm not even kidding you. I can't even tell you how much Would You Bend we used. But here I am trying placement, not really sure. I kept changing it up. Do I want to add more pieces of the decoupage because I knew I was going to paint and blend the edges. I even sanded down some of the wrinkles, but I wanted to have it look like it was a uh, cabin feel. I wanted that rustic look. So some of the paint I did add even baking soda to, to give it the texture because I love texture. And here I am adding more pieces, blending the colors, I must have mixed colors just to get it just right. I wanted the elk to just stand out, but I also wanted to give it blue at the top to just make it pop because sometimes you don't get that. So then I painted them, the, all the Would You Bend pieces, and there they are pieced together. And then, of course, what do I do? I have to use pigments because you know me, I am a pigment freak. I love pigments. Here we are taking off the painter tape off the edge, nice crisp edges. I did have a few pieces that I had to, you know, sand a few spots, but it was okay. I put everything down with an extreme uh, wood glue and here we are. And you just tell me what you think. I did add a kick plate on the bottom and they are going to add a beautiful gold doorknob to match. And here's just some AI visuals just to get a look of what it'll look like in the cabin. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks so much for joining me. Tell me what you think. Bye!